once again, you know, I am Hans. And I am Franz. You know, normally we would be here to pump you up. No, but not tonight. In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today, I'm bringing you a subsistence game guide on food buffs. What I mean by buffs is as you eat certain foods, you will have a red bar or a blue bar that goes up, and then you'll gain a point of health or a point of stamina. I just lost a point of health. I was at 117. That red bar had gone all the way down because I'm starving, and I lost one point of health. If we wait long enough, I'll actually lose a point of stamina. Now, to get these bars moving in the proper direction, to get them to go up, you have to eat cooked foods. These are raw foods, okay? Tomato, blueberry, uh, the apple, the, blue, the berry water, eggs, onions, potatoes, carrots, your blueberries, your tree grubs, and your protein bars. I happen to happen to have a protein bar, I used them all up. If I eat these, it's not going to raise these bars because it doesn't indicate that it increases my hunger, or excuse me, my health or my stamina. If I go to my refrigerator, here I have foods that'll actually increase my food buff. On the steak and eggs, it's got the blue text telling you what type of benefit you're gonna get. At the very bottom though, I wish I can move my mouse, but I can't. At the very bottom though, you'll see max health plus 0 0.20, max stamina plus 0 0.022, which means if I eat five steak and eggs, which you can't do in a row because it's gonna fill you up too quickly, but in the course of let's say two days, I ate five steak and eggs, I would raise my health by one point and I would raise my max stamina by one point plus a little smidge. If I ate this low grade rabbit, I would only get 0 0.06 and plus 0 0.05. This, uh, a liver is pretty good, a steak is very good, but of course the creme de la creme, the best thing that you can do is eat a roast chicken and vegetable dinner. It gives you the max protein, the max vegetables, the max hunger, 10 hydration, and it gives you max health plus 1.10 and max stamina of 0 0.9. So if I eat this, I will gain a full point of health and I will gain almost a full point of stamina. Now, my bars are still going down. You'll see that my, my blue bar is starting to go down. I can stop this because I'm hungry. That is one way to lose the food buff. If I eat some tree grubs and a few blueberries, you'll see that that, that debuff has gone away. The fork and knife has gone away. Oh, it came back. One second. Eat another blueberry. Okay, now it's gone away. I'm no longer losing health the health buff or the stamina buff. If I sit here and continue to starve, I'm gonna to continue to lose it. So let's go ahead and eat a chicken. I'm gonna eat this chicken and vegetables. It's gonna completely fill me up on protein, fruits and vegetables, and my hunger is gonna go all the way up. So now I'm back to 118 health and 112 stamina. Now I'm completely full. I can't eat these items because they will give me a buff. They'll buff me up. I also can't eat a steak or a liver because I'm not hungry enough. But because these items aren't in that same class, if my fruits and vegetables were low, I could go ahead and eat all these fruits and vegetables and raise my fruits and vegetables. If I had some kelp or seaweed, I could eat that. That would also raise my fruits and vegetables. If I had a protein bar or I eat tree grubs, I can continue to eat these and it's and it's keeping my protein up. It doesn't matter that I'm 
not hungry enough for it. And I can also, of course, also eat an egg or drink a berry water. So I wanted to show is even if you're full, you're no longer hungry, but your protein and or your fruits or vegetable bar is getting in the red and you, you know, hey, I've got this steak and eggs. Why won't you let me eat it? It's because you're not hungry enough. It doesn't mean that you can't eat other forms of protein, tree grubs and protein bars. Now, this is going to keep your hunger meter maxed out. So until you're hungry enough again, you won't be able to eat one of these two meals. All right, I'm gonna take the chicken with me just in case. And I wanna show you the ways to actually lose it. You've seen the first way of losing it, starving yourself. I'm gonna get in position. I'm gonna show you the next way that you can lose it. All right, welcome back guys and gals. We are up in the mountains, up in the cold, and it's raining. Look at my health. Currently my health is at 118 but I've only got a little smidge of a bar protecting me. And I'm, I'm too cold now. And you'll see that red bar is starting to go down. I just went to 117 health. So one of the big reasons people in the early game are sitting there, they get to 81, and then they get cold at night, and then they eat something in the morning, and then they get that, that notification that your health has gone up, it's not, that you're, it's not that the game is bugged or that you have to put a BCU down before you can get above 81 or whatever that number happens to be for you. It's because you're getting cold and that cold will sap your strength, literally saps your strength. In this case, you lose stamina and health. Got a wolf here, let's uh, run by, do a drive by wolfing. Now, I can't raise that bar because I'm not hungry enough to eat this this chicken. So I'm stuck at 117. There's another way. Ooh, sorry. Even though I'm just doing a uh, a tutorial video, I have to I have to pick up the carrot. I got to see. All right. So another way to lose part of your food and or health buff is getting sick. Now I can get sick by drinking dirty water eating raw chicken or raw rabbit or being attacked by an animal. There's a percentage chance, depending I think on your armor, of if you're gonna get sick or not. If you don't have any armor on, you just have the pants on, you're gonna, you're gonna get sick a lot more often. So if I drink this water right now, I'm gonna become sick. Now, when you become sick, you're gonna see that my stamina is gonna start going down. I'm gonna start losing health. Once they get to about 50%, of my bar, they're gonna stop. There's a, a lowest amount that you can get to. But I want you to notice that blue bar right there. I'm currently at 112 stamina. This blue bar is, finally, is starting to go down. All right, I might ex uh, make this bigger on the screen. The blue bar is much harder to see than the red bar. But if you watch that, my red bar of my health, you'll see that it's slowly going down as well. I will continue to lose my health buff and my stamina buff until I take an antidote, until I'm up. Even if I get warm and I'm next to a fire and you know I, I, I'm, I'm trying to take care of myself, at, while I'm sick, I'm gonna continue to lose health and stamina. Now that blue bar is almost all the way there. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time just a little bit so you guys can watch that happen. So you make sure I'm not lying to you. Remember, I'm at 112. Soon, I'm gonna be at 111. Now I'm at 111. You'll see that that bar went all the way back up because now I'm losing the stamina buff that holds me at 111. If I don't take an antidote, I'm gonna go down to 110. So let's go ahead and take an antidote. So I've used the antidote. This bar isn't gonna go down anymore. I'm gonna slowly regen health. If I was sitting next to a fire, my health would come up faster. Let's just go ahead and use the first aid kit. So that got me almost to full health. As I'm moving around, slowly but surely my health is gonna go up. But I'm still not hungry enough to eat this chicken so I can get those bars back up. So now I'm stuck at 111 and 117. There's one more way to lose health, and that is by dying. If you die of, from anything, uh, be it malnutrition, 
drowning, being killed by an animal, or be being killed by wolves. Ooh, let's have a cool, a cool death. Let's have a cougar take me out. Come here, cougar. <laughs> Not breaking my leg, but she took me out. When I respawn, I'm at 107 and 113. I'm gonna run outside and jump off the top of my house. Conveniently, that jump will actually kill me every single time, which is awesome. So remember, I'm at 107 and 113. Three, two, one, swan dive! Oh! <laughs> Come on, let me spawn. Now I'm at 103 and 109. We're gonna do it one more time. My stamina should drop to 99 and my health should be just, I think I, I wanna say just over 100. I can't do any flippies, but I can do <laughs> whatever that was. Our leg's still moving. I've got several dead corpses over here. Did she paint her nails white? I never noticed that her toenails are white. Her fingernails are white too, but her toenails, I never noticed that her toenails are white. Hmm. So 99 and 105. So that's how you can lose the stamina buff and the health buff. And that's how you can gain it. If I wanted to get this, my buff going again, if I came over and ate some steak and eggs, you'll see I just gained some blue bar right here and some red bar right there. I can't eat another one, I'm not hungry enough. Now you'll see my fruits and vegetables are low. I can't eat anything else that has that buff on it. But I wanna get my fruits and vegetables up. So let's go ahead and eat a tomato. See, even though I'm full, and even though I can't eat any of the buff foods, I can still eat tomatoes to get that bar up. Actually, I lost all my, my water. Oh, I got some clean water. Sweet. So that's how you gain the buff. That's how you can lose the buff. I hope you guys found this information useful. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.